This little guy rumbling away here is the fabled John Bedini SSG, otherwise known as the Bedini Motor. This one's probably the fifth or the sixth one I've built. Bowling away at 800 milliamps, sitting on 20 volts. And these two outputs here, you would connect up to a, a battery. This is to charge batteries. It is an elaborate battery charger. Although there is a rotor on top, it produces very little torque and you wouldn't use it to produce any energy. Um, it's fairly simple in its basic construction. Um, however, there is quite a few of them running in parallel to uh, increase the productivity. Thus the apparent complexity. But basically what they do is make a very good battery charger because they produce high voltage pulses across the cell of the battery which is a very good way to charge batteries. And as the battery becomes charged, its other significant advantage becomes clear, which is due to the change in the battery's impedance as it charges, the reluctance of the back EMFs from the coil change, thereby changing the rotor speed, slowing it down and thereby putting greater current into the battery as the reluctance of the battery changes. And that is of course different for all types of batteries. Um, however, I found these best with lead acid batteries. However, they will charge other types. Um, this is a quick catch up video. I've not made a video of this machine before or any of my other Bedini machines. Um, this is the one I put the most money into and the most time. Um, but uh, I built this almost 10 years ago now um, So the concepts and the ideas are a little outdated um, the community has come on a lot since then the alternative energy community uh, The reason why the alternative energy community is interested in these is because of the way they pulse the batteries um, They send high voltage spikes Onto the batteries which literally shake the plates clean Which is a completely different method uh, to the burning heat method um, that is normally the way those batteries are charged and that enables you to actually charge batteries more efficiently than any other conventional chargers um, however as I said I've learned a lot since then and uh, I now charge my batteries with this um, simple little box there's not much to it a lead coming in and a couple of leads coming out. Um, pretty obvious what you do with those. Um, and this um, you want to uh, ideally run through a a mains transformer uh, to isolate it from the mains, thereby making it slightly more legal, um, as you're not typically supposed to do any mains electrical work yourself. So if you want to make one yourself, you simply need to put an isolation transformer in between. Something like a travel adapter would be fine. But um, this is what's inside the box. You have a mains plug, which, um, excuse the organization, goes into a bridge rectifier. And one of the mains wires has a capacitor in series to limit the current. This is a 12 microfarad capacitor, which I think is about the best. And you simply chop the other side on the battery. And um, these not just charge lead acid batteries, they will charge all types of batteries really, but lead acids work the best, and especially rechargeables work the best. Um, but uh, because of the high voltage peaks they put on the battery, uh, basically, under quite a few conditions, you can technically get more energy out of the battery than you put into it, uh, particularly for short charging cycles. Um, so, the diagram is fairly straightforward. There's your earth to the battery, earth battery, and that goes off to your positive battery. And there is little else to it. And, and you don't actually need the uh, mains isolation transformer. 
if you're a licensed electrician, but it is advisable. So, um, I basically haven't replaced my car battery in a large number of years. Um, I got my car battery from a scrapyard. Um, highly satisfied with it. Obviously, it did absolutely nothing when I got it, but I did pay about $8 for it. Um, and I got a bunch more at the same time. And uh, all I do is top up the battery with distilled water. And um, and I keep doing that every year. Top up the battery with distilled water and hit it with the pulse charger for three or four days, preferably a week, uh, every 12 months. And it stays in premium condition. Um, they don't, however, last forever because they are designed to break eventually. Um, so after about five to eight years, depending on the quality, um, the battery will pretty much disintegrate anyway. Um, but you can get a huge amount more life out of them uh, than you should typically, which is great. And of course you can sell any spare refurbished batteries. It is a, um, it's a wealth generating machine that costs about five dollars to build. So if you've got a few spare hours free every night, like I often do, make a few quid for your experiments. So, um, hmm. but basically my car battery's been going as long as this avocado tree's been growing from seed, highly unsuccessfully, but it might get there eventually. Anyway, much better to spend your money on modifications for the car than new disposable batteries. So, food for thought, have a good day. Check out my other videos on over unity transformers for more energy out than in. Thank you very much.